Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to focus on what is Pandas pivot and what is Pandas pivot underscore table. So do we have pivot and pivot table? Yes. So there is a function called pivot and also there is a function called pivot underscore table. Now I'm going to explain the differences between both of them. But before we get started, let me show you the documentation. In the documentation, if you see for the pivot, we have argument called columns, index and values. These are the three limited arguments that is available with pivot. Now, if you look at the pivot underscore table, it has got multiple arguments. So that makes it more powerful. And one of the powerful argument is aggregate function. Now, this makes it more powerful than the normal pivot. So let's see some practical difference between both of these functions pivot and pivot underscore table. Now for this, I am going to, to show the difference. I have this data frame. I am going to pass this data frame into the description of the video. So please do copy this data frame so that we can proceed further and understand the differences. The very first thing I am going to do, import pandas as pd. Now after this, I am going to copy paste the data frame and let us print this data frame to see how it appears. So if you see, it has got a product column, ABC, ABC, then it has a month, January, January, January. That means product A in January was sold 100 times and the revenue generated was 5000. Same thing for all of this product. If you look at the February, again product A was sold 110 times and the revenue generated. So for all of these products, these values are kept okay so you have seen this data now let us see how i can apply a pivot and how i can apply a pivot underscore table both of them i'm going to show you so first let's take the name of the data frame which is df dot and simply say pivot now pivot requires some arguments the first argument is index index means your rows what would you like to see in your rows Let's say in the rows, I would like to see product. So all I'm doing, simply saying product. And these are case sensitive. If there's a capital word, you write it in the same way. Okay, this is the first argument. Now the second argument is columns. What it is? Columns. Now columns, I'm going to say, I in the columns, I want to see the month. Again, in the quote, you will write month. Now the third argument we have is values okay now in the values you can pass the quantity sold and revenue now in case i'm not passing this this is not mandatory let's say i'm not passing it and i'm going to simply run this what happened the quantity sold and revenue has appeared and here you can see all your values now what happened the product has become your rows abc and the month has become your column so if you see february january february january and now you have all your values you see all your values are up here now the question is let's see how if you up if you do a pivot table what happens so let me copy this copy this and here i am simply saying pivot table okay now if you run this you literally don't see any differences do you see any differences no as of now everything looks exactly the same now what is the difference so let me show you the very first difference is it can handle what is the first difference i'm saying it can handle duplicates what it means the pivot underscore table can handle duplicates so here let's say if i'm using pivot let me write it as it cannot handle duplicates and the pivot table can handle duplicates are you understanding so so the topic is handle duplicates right so let's see if i'm saying handle duplicates first of all let's create some duplicate value in our data frame now what i'm doing i'm going to copy this copy this and here i'm going to paste it so comma c is repeated two times in the product column same thing the february i'm going to copy it and paste it okay February got created. Now let me copy until the comma and here I am pasting it. So here what I am doing, 
I'm saying in the February it was sold 110 times and then let me copy this and paste it and let me change the value to 5000 now first of all let's see how this data appears now if you look at what happened clearly tells you in the month of February in the fifth row right there's a quantity sold saying 100 and the revenue is 4800 now in the row number six again we have an entry called C where it is saying 110 and the revenue is 5000 now it may happen this product was sold two times let's say in the month of February the first value they have got an order from a vendor where they have sold 100 products and done but let's say some other vendor was interested on the same month and we don't have that vendor column here so again there is an entry saying it was sold two times so both are same so in the month of February the total amount is nothing but the sum of 100 and 110 which is 210 quantity and the revenue is again sum of this now here there is a duplicate entry if you see C repeated two times February repeated two times however the values are different now when this kind of duplicate entries are there and you know that the duplicate values do contain meaning I cannot delete them now in that case if you run this the same I have not made any changes okay the moment I am running this what is happening let's see so you can see there is a star mark here that means it is running okay star mark means it is still running now after this what happened it gave me an error if you look at it says index contains duplicate entries cannot reshape so that means what you have learned the pandas dot pivot function cannot handle duplicates this cannot handle duplicates now can the pivot underscore table handle the duplicates let me run this okay i am also not making any changes now you can see it has actually handled the duplicates if you see the c column had two values 100 and 110 so by default it done a aggregate or it has done a average or what we call it as mean so it has taken the average of both the values and said 105 in the month of february because month of february is the one where we have duplicate values right so here it has taken the average of both the values and average of both of this revenues and you can see under the quantity sold it is saying 105 and under the revenue sold it is saying 4900 so it has taken the average of both the values now you will say rakesh there is no uh, average you have not mentioned here so by default what happens if you look at the documentation from pandas the aggregate function mean aggregate function mean by default runs even though you did not mention it default is mean by default it will run even though you have not written it now let us write and see it okay so what i will do i'll simply say agg function that means aggregate function and by default it will run mean now if you run this also you can see so that means the pivot underscore table has an advantage of handling duplicate data that is the first learning point okay now you can see it has got mean however as i mentioned earlier this is not something mean i want i want a sum i want a sum of both of them right so if i need a sum of this all i'm saying sum don't do a min just do a sum now if i'm going to run this what happened you can see i got a 210 and i got 9800 so based on your data you can have the ability to manipulate and organize as you need so here i have mentioned sum getting it this is the first advantage now the second advantage that you have already seen with this the second advantage let me mention it has got aggregate functions i can do aggregate functions are available okay aggregate functions are available so some of the aggregate functions like mean sum right min max all of those things we can pass with this so this becomes more powerful so that is the second difference your pivot doesn't contain the parameter ag function or the aggregate function wherein the pivot table contains aggregate function which is again a more powerful way of manipulating or translating your data or transform your data into a different form so thank you guys for watching and i hope this video must have given clarity around the differences between pivot underscore pivot table so let's meet once again in the next content to see more such learnings so stay tuned 
and continue liking our contents on our channel.